Welcome back trainers and today we're going to be taking a look at Vaporeon and Gyarados and then Florges as well. Now we've used this team before. This is going to be a 100% IV Vaporeon with last resort. The thing is a tank and it does very well. So I decided let's go ahead and do it again. Double water here which we're going to be very weak to a um, electric type or a Magnezone in the front. In which case Vaporeon can still hold it down. Now wild charge is going to do a lot so you need to uh, look out for that. Just make sure you do as much damage as you can to it before you do get uh, taken out. Otherwise, it uh, performs amazing. You're going to go ahead and see here. If you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Do appreciate that. Up against an Excadrill with the Gyarados, we do have Community Day, Aqua Tail, and we're going to be going with Dragon Breath and, of course, Crunch. Florges is going to have Moonblast and Drain Kiss. So we're not going to go with Petal Blizzard, although that could be okay. So they do have a Dragonite in the back here that they're locking themselves in. We bring in the Florges, and that's about a wrap here, folks. There's really nothing they can do unless they do have uh, Hurricane, which most people do not run. They're going to be going with the new Super Power, and then, of course, their Dragon Claw. So we're building up to about 100 energy <laughs> over farming here. Now we're going to go ahead and take them out with that. And then they bring in their Excadrill. Now, we could have made it to our next charge move, but uh, let's go ahead and just do it. Let's go ahead and just take them out here. We still have two shields and we take the win with Florges. Let's go. Next battle, what are we going to be met with? Excadrill. Great. Sounds good. Perfect. What are they going to swap into? You know they're going to swap after building up energy. A Dragonite. Great. So we're going to build up a little bit of extra energy ourselves and then go ahead and wall them with the Florges here, which is just amazing. Gyarados can also go up against the Dragonite, but obviously this is a better matchup for us here. So again, we're going to build up all the way to almost 100 energy. Take out the Dragonite and we're going to be ready to go. Excadrill, remember, does have energy. They can't take us out in one shot and our Moonblast is going to be still doing a lot of damage to them. So they really can't just try to farm us down. I mean, they can. Let's see what happens here, though. All right, so Moonblast is going to do quite a bit. They shield it up. Okay, so getting the first shield from them. Looks like we're trying to get to another Moonblast and we do. Are they going to double shield this Excadrill here? And they're letting it go. Okay, knowing that they're going to survive. Great. Bring in the Vaporeon and they immediately swap and they got a Togekiss back there. So this is not particularly, this is actually in a weird situation here because we have Dragon Breath on our Gyarados. So Togekiss is going to be able to kind of withstand that. But we do have an Aqua Tail, which, you know, we can swap to. All right, so what we're going to do is just stay here and do as much damage with the Vaporeon as possible. Can we get to one more? Unfortunately not, but that's okay. We still got two shields left. We can let this Ancient Power go even, it's no problem, but they hit me with Flamethrower, I don't know what the hell that's all about. Maybe they have Dazzling Gleam, who knows, but bringing in the Excadrill. Now they are not going down without putting up a fight, I do believe they get to two, yep, two charge boosts here. It's a good thing I had two shields left, otherwise that would have been a wrap for me. And we get to the Aqua Tail and we're going to take the win here with this Double Water and Fairy team that we've used before. So yeah, I just wanted to go with Vaporeon because, you know, I had a 100. It's always been a classic, and it's pretty good, actually, as you can see here. It's quite the tank in the Master Premiere. Without Legendaries or XL Pokemon, works great. All right, so we're up against Togekiss. Coming back for some revenge. Going to go for the Aqua Tail, of course. You only go for Last Resort if there's something that resists water. That's it. Otherwise, you don't you don't use it. Uh, letting the Ancient Power go and getting to another Aqua Tail. I figure they're going to be shielding this up. We probably should have shielded up if we wanted to win this swap, but that's okay. Now we're going to be at a shield disadvantage, so we're going to bring in Florges here, get to the Moonblast, or <laughs> Drain Kiss, we don't need to get all the way to that. Taking them out, great, 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 and they have a Gyarados with Dragon Bread, so I'm figuring, hmm, maybe have a Dragon back there, maybe a Fighter, we'll have to see, so I kind of want to preserve this and not quite let them take me out all the way here. So going to go for the Moonblast. And then build up a little bit of extra energy and swap into our Gyarados to catch an Aqua Tail. Great. And they have a Machamp, a fighter in the back. There you go. We called it. All right. It's going to be Shadow. So Rock Slide's going to do quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and call it. It's going to be a cross shop. Since we do have two shields, I figure they're going to start trying to get our shields by baiting. So we're going to let that first one go. They're not going to be able to counter us down. Although it's doing a decent amount of damage over there. Getting to the next Aqua Tail here on the Machamp. Down it goes. And... Let's get it. Unfortunately, not able to Dragon Breath them down. We have a charge move ready to go because we do build up that energy. Ready for later. And taking out that Gyarados with two shields at that. Okay, let's go, folks. This thing pulled off was like a 5-0, It ranked me up here. So, hey, what can I say? Vaporeon team is uh, putting in the work. 
Now we're gonna let this play out here. I just wanted you to see it so you don't have all the complete edited out. Like, oh, is he just putting in the wins? Like, yes, Like uh, until I start getting more likes, yes. We'll put in losses if we get more views. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even more likes. Simple as that. Then we'll start putting in a lot more losses. Otherwise, let's take a look at the wins. Continuing on here without editing anything out. Let's see what the next battle does look like here. So up against the Gyarados with Dragon Breath is really annoying. So we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, last resort then swap into our Gyarados here. Wasn't trying to play any more catch games because the Dragon Breath was just doing way too much. Bringing in an Excadrill here. Hopefully we can get to two. Well, they're going to get to a Rock Side, I think, before. Yeah, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is shield this up. They can't take us out with quick moves. So we're going to force them to use a shield here. So now we're both at one shield. That's the whole purpose of shielding up that first rock side. Uh, and then bringing them down even lower, of course. So now we can easier water gun them down and have energy ready to go up against that Gyarados with our Vaporeon. Uh, eh, we're not really quite at a charge move yet, so we gotta be careful since that Dragon Breath is gonna be doing quite a bit, but they're almost out of here. So I immediately swap and they got a mammoth freaking swine in the back. All right, now things just got a little bit interesting. So we're not taking super effective, but this avalanche is yeah, one one or two shots, or two shots and we're out of here. All right, so going for the Moonblast, doing a lot of damage, they let it go, which I'm thinking, okay, hold on, we got a chance here. Vaporeon's gonna be resisting the Powdered Snow. So long as we hold on to a shield here, we're gonna be looking okay. So we let this go, no problem at all. All right, bringing the Vaporeon, we're still looking pretty healthy here, farming down, great, great, great. And we're going to be getting off the uh, last resort on the Gyarados and taking the win here. Simple as that. Looking good. And easy money. And again, I'm not going to edit it out. We're just going to keep on rolling through here so you can see we just continue on and continue to collect wins with this teams here. And rise up. Okay. All right. Some of you asked, can you try, please? Can you try and rank up? Actually, like, okay, here you go. <laughs> here we are. I'm ranking up. See? All right, so anyways, up against a, what was that, Florges? Okay, their own Florges. Let's get it. Such a, I, I don't want to call it ugly design, but it is weird. It is a weird looking thing. It looks like a flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gorgeous at all. It's weird. <laughs> it's a good Pokemon, but uh, not a fan of what it actually looks like for the design. Anyways, going to go ahead and keep on hitting them with Aqua Tail here, as it is going to be doing neutral damage. And we're going to let this go, knowing that they're going to take us out here. That's okay. We already used a shield. I'm not trying to use another one. And since they've already used none, well, they haven't used any. So <laughs> we're going to try to Dragon Breath them down. This is quite ambitious. I know this is a little bit of a problem for me here. Yeah. Taking a freaking Moonblast to the face. we got a lot of energy, though. Yay! All right. Bringing in their own Gyarados, which does have uh, Waterfall. So good. Good. That's very good. Very good. Uh, but too bad uh, we're pretty much low on our health here. So we're going to go ahead and hit them with two crunches. I think we did get the debuff right there finally. Swapping and they got a Machamp in the back. And I was like, ah, this is a loss. But since it's a Machamp, I think we can pull this off. I let this go. It's not a Shadow, so we can take that Rock Slide no problem. Building up quite a bit of energy. Going for the Disarming Voice. Not enough to take them out, damn it. But that's perfect because we're able to farm them down. So, hey. And we're going to just start throwing these disarming voices here. We don't need to go for all that. All right. Well, now we can. Since we got the last shield, we absolutely will. Shielding this up again, we get to it, and we do. Yes, Florges is going to take the win for us. The thing that I was just talking all that crap about. Thank you, Florges. Next battle, leading with the Vaporeon in the lead the entire time. Met with an Ursaluna. Okay, now this damn bear is so weird. Uh, <laughs> it's cool and all that. All right, anyways, let's go. Look at this thing at times two speed. It looks insane, like a real bear coming at you. All right, so we got to look out for Thunder Punch, and we're letting it go. Okay, now they're going to shield this up. I, mean, yeah, I bet they will. They're like, oh, we got you this low. I'm going to farm you down now. Should I shield this up? Nah, we're going to let it go. Let them take us out. They've already used a shield. I'm going to bring in our Gyarados to farm them down. What you got for me now, buddy? I would assume they're going to have a counter here since I was a ground type, and it is going to be a Waterfall Gyarados. Okay. Now, this is a much better situation to be in since we do have some so much more health. We do resist the Waterfalls while well, we're hitting them with Dragon Breath. Yeah, I love to see it. All right, going to shield up this Crunch just to maintain, and they got a Metagross back there. So I didn't mean to throw this Aqua Tail 
but it worked out because we get a shield anyways. Now we got a floor just in the back, which doesn't want anything to do with the Gyarados or with the uh, Metagross because it's all fairy. All right, and if it has the grass petal blizzard, then it's not doing crap anyways. So Metagross completely destroys Florges. So I need to do as much damage as I can. I lowered their defense. I bring them down really low. I'm thinking, okay, come on. Can we farm them down here? Come on, can we get to this? Oh, and they swap to catch. So I'm not hitting any of these bubbles here so I can gain some more farm off of them. They're doing a plenty of damage. I'm thinking, man, I should have hit a couple of those bubbles, huh? Because I need to have energy ready to go. I mean, they still... Okay. All right. All right. So at this point, I'm like, forget it. They don't even have shields. So let's go ahead and just take them out. And then they don't have enough energy to hit a Meteor Mash. So we'll take them out here. Hopefully this is enough to KO. Absolutely will. Floor just yet again at the end taking the win for us. Yes, Floor just is putting in the work. But so is everything else in the lead. Okay. If we were leading with Floor just, we would be taking the wins with Vaporeon at the end. All right, so great lead up against Excadrill. They're going to be swapping into their Gyarados with Dragon Breath, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our floor just to resist that because, I mean, they can't go for Crunch. Only thing they can really do is hit me with Aqua Tails, which are doing a decent amount here. All right, so two of them. All right, already down to half. Moonblast. Do they want to shield it up? Let it go. Let's see what the deal is. They're going to let it go. Okay, building up to another one. Unfortunately, I got greedy, but I know I will survive this, so that's... Fine, I guess we can get to another disarming voice potentially here if they do shield this up and they do a freaking course and we get to another one. Do they double shield? Tell me you do. I'm pretty sure they don't. Okay, never mind. I guess I don't remember this battle. So they're double shielding. They're barely surviving Gyarados so they can win the swap. Okay, that's not a horrible strategy. Fine. Your call. Bringing in our uh, Vaporeon. I mean, just going to go ahead and absorb this crunch here. No problem. Still holding on the two shields and they got a Prima Arena and I'm thinking, yeah. That, that's a wrap. Um, I don't think I can pull that off. So I swap into the Gyarados after getting that off. Knowing that we still have two shields, I'm like, you know what? I'm still going to try. I'm still going to try to see what we have. Aqua Tail is the best bet. We forget Crunch. At least we're getting stabbed. Uh, they swap. We're going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Tail here. Things are getting a little bit interesting. Because now at this point, what I can do is let this go. I don't think I'm going to be using a shield here, actually. Uh, bring in our Vaporeon, farm them down, and uh, we take the win. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you all next time. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.